<laughs> What's up guys, my name is Chris Kane and welcome to Let's Play Silent Hill Final Redemption. Uh, just like Silent Hill Room 304 is another Silent Hill fan game. Uh, so <laughs> let's just get into it. Last one was alright. This one so far is better because there's some voice acting. What'd you do? Shit. Satan had me in the palm of his hand. But then, out of nowhere, a man came and showed me the light. Forgave me. Took care of me. Taught me about forgiveness and salvation. He was my shining savior in the bitter cold darkness. I was reborn. Now, I'm a completely new person. I have learned from my mistakes. I was gonna say. Oh man. It. Man. Like. <laughs> that was my question with this game. Like, th does he live in Silent Hill? Oh. Okay, here we go. Just like room 304. Uh, the road leads to Silent Hill where Father Vincent lives. This is a little funny. The road continues. The dialogue isn't really needed there. What's with the fog? Rusty truck. <laughs> is that what it said? Oh yeah, rusty pickup truck. Weird. Yeah, again with like the Google Maps thing. No turn over here. Is there nothing to interact with? Oh. This road leads to Blue Creek Apartments. I used to live there before I moved out the town away from Father Vis Vincent. I wonder if he's there. I need an apartment key for the front door? Alright. Oh, I mean, it's, it's key to the apartments. Where's this? Oh, God. I don't think it would be wise to proceed. Oh. Oh, I literally can't. I thought that was a suggestion. Okay, then. Oh. Oh, okay, here we can go over here. Door is locked. Yeah, church key. Okay, I'm hearing weird, 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 weird sounds. That's great. Uh, let's see here. We need keys, and we can't go down that road, so we're gonna have to just keep going back, I guess. There must be something I missed in the beginning, maybe. No. Oh, wow, there's a key on the floor. That's weird. That doesn't make much sense, but okay. So now we have the key to the apartments. Look at this poorly, like, pixelated house. The, stair leads, the stairway leads to the second floor. Room six, there it is. Hold on, what are these other rooms? Nasty smell coming from this door. It's a nasty smell coming from this. There's no source of the smell, though. Fuck. Really? It's death? What? Okay, that, so far, that's, that's not fair. That is not fair at all. At least, you know, we can just do that. Wait, what? Didn't I pick it up? Uh, wait. I didn't pick it up. Picked up the apartment key. That was weird. Wait, so what did that door say? Nasty spell come from the other side of the door. It's blocked. Door won't budge. Door's no handle. Okay, anyway. Fuck it. Picture of Father Vincent painted for me. I can't even see a person's face in that. My old wallet. I found a church key. How the hell did it get in there? Hmm. Weird. Nothing of interest. It's like Call of Cthulhu. Nothing of interest here. It's always been my favorite thing a character says. Whoa. These are not sounds you have. You can hear in a church. Come on. That's really weird. Although it is Silent Hill, though. I remember spending a lot of time at the altar. 
I removed the cloth from the altar table, revealing an old pattern. Wait, what? That's cool, you removed the cloth. What am I supposed to do? This is really creepy. I see the pattern, I guess. It's six green lines. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's really weird. I don't know what to do past that, though. Oh, this door leads to the stairs. Look how good these stairs are. I thought that was a person right here on this on the right here. Oh shit. Uh, this is, this is a room for his bedroom. We need a bedroom key. Story he never took. Okay, well, let's take that as an as a uh, sign not to go in there or we die. Well, he told me never to go in there. But I have to. I need his bedroom key though. All right, let's do it. Is that a diary? It's not been two weeks since the incident. I have been observing the boy at close range. Ill. And it seems to have settled down and gotten calmer. He also begun talking to me and wishes to learn more about the Almighty himself. So overall, the process is proceeding better than I thought it would. The boy's turning out to be quite a character. Uh, the boy's prayed his first prayer. He told me to leave. He told me to leave the altar and then he got down on his knees, folded his hands. And I think... He has finally come to peace of what happened. I painted him a picture yesterday. Pretty basic, but it seems he seems to like it. He shows a great interest in art. But now it's all good. I, no one comes here anymore. When I ask them why, they tell me that they don't have the time. But I know the truth. They are afraid. If only they could see the other side of Nathan. But they couldn't realize that he was just normal. Uh, just as normal every other child on this planet. Nathan got his own apartment yesterday. He told me he could, I could visit him as often as I want. He's such a sweet kid. Christianity has really turned his world around. He's also started painting, and I tried to give him as much advice as I can. To be honest, he still has a lot to learn. I had a visitor yesterday, Father Gregory from Shepherd's Glen. He came to discuss Nathan's situation. I told him all about... Oh. Okay, I know a little bit about Homecoming and its story. I don't want to spoil it, but this might spoil it. Nathan has uh, not visited me for a long time. He went to his apartment, knocked on the door, and then there was no answer. I sent him a letter. I haven't received a reply from him yet. I don't know where he is or what he's doing. I pray for him every day, and I hope that God will listen to me. Maybe he left town to start a new life. There's a lot of possibilities, and maybe I shouldn't worry that too much. After all, he's almost an adult. He can do whatever he wants to do. Still, I would appreciate it if he sent me a goodbye letter or something like that. I received a package today. It was a painting. I'm afraid I can't say what it was, I, as I'm still in shock. But if the dispatcher is who I think it is, then my worst fears have come true. I have locked the doors and shut the windows. Please, God, don't let it be him. Don't let it be Nathan. Uh, well, what's this? Closet. I wonder if... Oh, my God. How? How would I know? Oh, wait. The... the green lines oh wow this is weird how would I Oosh. well that's the progression that's progression oh you know what maybe it's the diary enter enter the entries maybe how many numbers are there wait what Okay, that's weird. I had to look that up because there's no... This whole game doesn't have... Just like Room 304 had the same problem. The puzzle had no way of knowing. Or I had no way of knowing the, the code. So that was the weird code. Anyway.
What? Oh. Oh god. I'll remember now. My name is Nathan Wales. Nine years ago I committed a terrible sin. I killed both my parents in the middle of the night. Satan had me in the palm of his hand. Oh, that's rough. That and sucks. Father Vincent came to me, took care of me. Convinced that he could turn me into a better person. I prayed to God for him to die. I hated him. I despised him. I knew that there was only one thing I could do. I choked him to death while he was least expecting this. I saw the light leave his eyes while he was begging for me to stop. And I loved every bit of it. Wow, so the plot twist is that we, I think, are still... Oh, we're still playing. We're still... What the hell? I guess we're a monster, basically. Where did his body go? It just disappeared. I picked up his hunting rifle. Oh my... What? Wait, what is... What's... What'd this game then become? Oh. What? What? Are you serious? What happened? Alright, let's try that again. I had to listen to that whole thing again. Okay. He didn't show up. What am I supposed to do? I feel like my... If I click again, he's going to show up. I, okay, I didn't die that time. If only I had my car. What's that? that look, oh, that is something. Holy shit. I, I somehow saw that. Wait, did I? Okay. Something else that... Uh, shoot him! Don't tell me I died again. And that was it. Okay. That was really creepy. Like... Inspired by the game, yeah. It's weird, like, the whole thing of me be becoming a monster and... and you know, being possessed by Satan and all that stuff. Like, that is what the first Silent Hill is all about. But then it kind of goes more into, into interesting things, and that was okay. That was okay, but it was very graphic, which is okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, play up new grounds. Yeah, so that was really terrifying, so, especially when it, it, it's uh, explained in graphic detail. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. If you have any other games like this you want me to play, uh, let me know, and I will see you next time. Peace out.